Hello everyone, we are back to do another 12.5.2.1 video. This is our Aldi route and we're going to see how it performs. Uh, if you saw the last video, well, uh, we had an edge case with a fire truck and they tried to run a red light. So, we'll see how that goes on this one. Um, but, interesting version like, the first drive I thought was better besides the speed limit issue on the highway. This drive, you know. Maybe it's a flick, maybe it's because of the rain. And uh, it should not go. So I'm start I'm changing up these routes just a little bit to add in, you know, parking lots. But um no, no it's gonna go, it needs to go. Okay. Um I wish it did pull out a little bit quicker if it was gonna pull out there with as fast as the truck was oncoming, but hey it did fine. Got the job done. But, hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Uh, I guess I forgot to give a shout out, but um, probably get a few more, but love that we're seeing a bunch of new subscribers joining on the channel. I appreciate you being here. It really means a lot that now I can maybe turn a hobby into something a little bit more. But um, yeah, just it just I like keeping you guys up to date on now Hardware 3, self, uh, full self-driving. Now, part, that's what everyone, Interesting. It still used a blinker, but it, the blinker was late. Like, uh, hu humans do that. Humans, like, would already change lane. Oh, it, it's not gonna. Don't do that. No, don't. Turn off the blinker. You're making a right turn up here. Turn off the blinker. Oh, God. This is, this is not, uh. Let's see, I knew it was gonna do that. I knew it was gonna do that again. And now it's gonna mess up here. Well, okay. That, I'm just, that's a disengagement, guys. The car was, I kept on randomly swapping lanes for no reason, even though I had a right lane, a uh, right, right turn to make here. Yeah, so this version, mm, I, I'm trying to be optimistic here, but all these little things are not better. Like, it, it keeps on doing, like, I, that was supposed to be solved in multiple, ver I never had this issue, the random lane swapping problem. I never had that problem. Now maybe that seems to be a problem with me, and maybe it won't be with other people. I don't know why. I don't know why pe people don't drive that way. So I'm really confused. I want to understand, like Jay and James, like um, Jane Thelma, if you can, you know, clip this. If you can t tell us why, like humans don't switch lanes back and forth. Why would the car do that? How? Why would the neural net get that from human driving? Like. W no one would do that. Just swap lanes back and forth constantly. Like, when they know a right turn is coming up. I, so I don't understand why the car would do that. It's, just, it's so confusing to me because that's not how humans would drive. At least maybe you know, good drivers want to drive that way. Maybe bad drivers, but then that's a fault of Tesla getting bad driver data. So, I don't know. That's the only logical assumption is that Tesla just has bad driver data. And that's why it did that but the last version was perfect it got over and stayed over in that lane and this version just regressed so I really don't know why it would do something like that unless it was just a regress regression or maybe it's the maybe it's rain you know it just it, and it didn't slow down what it could have done is okay the truck passed and let me slow down more and get behind the truck it kept on maintaining my speed and then it was like about to go into the back end of the truck I'm like, no, this is not good. So, this is the first version I've had di consistent dis actual disengagements. Not intervention, but actual disengagements. So, that's it's a little bit disappointing. Um, so, but, yeah, I'm here to show you the performance of Hardware 3 on full self-driving. I'm one of the few original uh, testers left that have Hardware 3. Just because I didn't upgrade my car. It just, I have no reason to upgrade my car. Tesla says they're going to make it work on Hardware 3. Let's find out. So I'll be pretty disappointed if they don't make it work on Hardware 3. But yeah. Uh, so this route, we're going to... As soon as it turns here. Let's do that. 
perfect. It recovers a lot better when you're um, when you're removing routes. Oh, look at Tesla. That's that's the the reason that might may not uh, be like, why is it a big deal that's a Tesla sitting there right one. Never seen a Tesla there. One, two. Teslas are still somewhat more rare in this area uh, than they are in other areas. So you know, it's kind of an interesting thing to see just a Tesla sitting there. It's like maybe like a homeowner got a new Tesla. That's that's kind of what I'm what's going through my head. But yeah, this I mean that's disappointing. With uh, like I'm I'm looking for other areas that might be improved, but like that was definitely a regression with with that disengagement there. Uh, what we're gonna do here is actually stop past the lows. I'm not even gonna bother recording in between lows and Aldi because that's just you know parking lot. Now I'll put in the comments down below if you actually want me to do that. I just don't see the need to do it just because it's not meant for parking lots right now. But we oh it's also it's not going in the way it should be going in. There's an entrance right here. Oh it's because it's not mapped. That's why. Interesting. It doesn't realize you can turn in here. Oh. The car doesn't realize, or at least the map data doesn't realize, you can turn in on, into Lowe's right here. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys once we're out of Ollie. We're back to go home. Uh, we're going to lose lots of things. If um, this video gets out before the clearance is off, if you guys are a fan of the Ego tools and you have the Ego multi-tool and you don't have a pole sole yet, they have a, they're clearancing out the pole saws. Uh, it might not say it on the website um, for your local store, but for my store, um, it's at 169 on the website. And um, let's see if it's going to correct. Okay, it did. Interesting. Um, so it said 100, and it should not go until this car to my right is gone, because I can't see oncoming traffic. Um, forty-two dollars. Oh man, forty-two dollars for this pole saw, which is a steel. I already had the pole saw, and the reason why I bought a second one is because I've done a lot of work with chainsaws and stuff on my property, and I just happened to kind of destroy stuff. Um, and it's just. You know, at that price, it's just nice to have a second one on hand. Um, so if you if you have a power head already for, say, the weed trimmer, then it's absolutely worth getting this if you have any trees to prune. So it works out great. Anyways, um, yeah, I didn't have to intervene or do anything uh, right there. So that was great. Uh, it you know, wasn't the smoothest thing ever, but it did stop in time. Uh, for the truck the truck that's in front of me actually for it to go by and then the cars on the left to go by and then it got out and everything is great Hey, oh, it's kind of get a red light ah uh, See normally so if I'm driving myself and not recording this route to keep everything consistent I would I would have gone for the green light right there and got a little bit different route Because it probably would have saved me like a minute of time um, over sitting at this light here and it's just more pleasant to not be sitting at a light but I am here to give you consistent routes because that's the most scientific thing you can do um, just let me down in the comments let me know in the comments down below if um, you do want to see just random routes just like here put a pin on the map and just drive around and see how it does we can certainly do that let me open to it but for consistency to test like disengagements and like the way it does turns and the way it handles traffic and everything you need to stay in a consistent route otherwise you you can't know how good it is because you can't judge disengagements and interventions between uh, version over version unless you stay on the same exact route and so i try to be as consistent as possible with that of course you can't control the traffic can't control the weather but you can control the route so, try to keep it the same. Okie dokie. That took freaking forever. Yeah, I can go through this intersection now. And no hands, it's great. 
this car beside to me to my right, I know they don't know where they're going and they're probably most likely gonna get over. I think they're talking on the phone. Nope, no, nope, you better go for this. Yeah, so as a human, that was easy. Go to the yellow light right there. There's no reason it should have braked at all right there. But hey, it, it made it, so that's what counts. Oh, you, maybe she is going to the mall, okay. Well, that's a that's a rare instance. Most every time someone is in that lane, they're uh, they meant to get into this lane, so they have to like get over it last minute. For this Bronco right here, she's starting moving out just a little bit, and my car reacted to it, and didn't need to react to that, but it did anyway. So this is really nice merge behavior right here. Let's see how it does getting onto the highway. Correct my mirror is tilted down just a little bit too much. So this is something I'm gonna press the camera button here. So we're counting that as an intervention. There's there's um, you know, tow truck. All right, let's go ahead and press that camera button because absolutely no reason uh, the car couldn't get over uh, right there. To that's that's just safe behavior. You know, if the if Robo taxis are gonna be the safest cars on the road, then it has to do stuff like that. Now, of course, again, we're on version 11 right now. Highway is version 11. Highway would not. I would not expect it to account for that type of stuff. Version 12, however, even version 12 might have trouble with that. That's where I'm wondering. I bet you if we had highway stack version 12 in the end, it probably still would have messed up right there. And I still would have intervened. So those are the type of things I'm looking forward to on the next, on you know, 12.6 or version 13 or whatever that comes out later this year. I really think that's gonna make some significant changes and we'll, we'll see how that kind of responds. shifted over so yeah this has a highway shift now um, so they're I guess they're redoing this this other side of the road now they realize they shifted it so the car handled that well so this is brand new I've never never driven this way on this part of the road ever so um, interesting lane shifts here cars handling it great section was pretty good. So unfortunately this route uh, was not zero disengagement because of that truck early on. But uh, otherwise uh, it slowed down acceptably well. Could have been better still here. Though it's unprotected left has been great for the last several versions. That's really what the 12.4 and up series really improved were the unprotected lefts. It really improved that. I shout out the truck's turn because that's probably where they're getting the data from. It's so much better now. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this drive, everyone. If you have questions for me, put comments down below. I appreciate you watching, and we will be doing the Crazy Hill Test tomorrow. There. Get subscribed for that. Appreciate you. Bye.